What's the personality type of Thomas Shelby? Many who have watched Peaky Blinders would say he's an ENTJ, mostly because of his reckless, aggressive, and impulsive behavior in certain episodes of the show. However, they seem to forget that INTJs have this as well, albeit not to the same extent, but it is still evident in their lives. ENTJs have NI as an auxiliary function, which means that they show responsibility when it comes to their future and planning. They will not blindly trust their intuition as an INTJ would. This coupled with their TE and SE is why they like being in control of situations. INTJs almost blindly trust their intuition, which is why they need auxiliary TE to make sure they won't do anything stupid. Otherwise, they would be impulsive. ENTJs, on the other hand, need an I to prevent themselves from blindly following their TE, which is responsible for bringing order to their lives. There are numerous times that Tommy almost dies because he trusted his intuition too much and stopped his TE from managing his behavior, hence his recklessness throughout the show. Introverted Intuition He thinks thoroughly first before choosing which move is best for his desired outcome. He doesn't choose the most efficient action right away. His plans are always future-oriented and often flawless. He takes his time. Extroverted Thinking it's obvious with his ability to narrow down all possible moves to the best one. There's little to no sign of TI. Introverted feeling. His principles and personal values are apparent. He's not much into forming friendships and maintaining harmony. He loves his family in his own way, quite different from Aunt Polly's FE style of love and affection. Also, we could say that his FI is higher than SE because he doesn't indulge himself with too much drinking and fighting unlike his older brother, Arthur, who does things for the thrill of it. Extroverted Sensing People who disagree with Tommy being SE inferior use arguments such as he fought in the war, he likes to fight, or he laughed a lot. But can't an INTJ do all these things? And can't anyone practice improving their inferior functions if their life depended on it? The war tormented his mind, which was made evident in the first season of the series. As for laughing, are there only certain personality types who are typed to laugh a lot? Of course not. Thomas Shelby's personality type is INTJ. INTJ's NITE is more methodical and careful than ENTJ's TE and I. ENTJ's prefer to rush in and improvise, which doesn't describe Tommy. He doesn't like to rush into action and prefers to have a solid plan to act on before doing anything else. When you plan something well, there's no need to rush. Consider these scenes in the show. He spent the entirety of the first season thinking about how to use the guns he found. As soon as he found them, he came up with a way of protecting them before Officer Campbell even made his first move. Also, in the first episode of the series, he made everyone believe Arthur Shelby was the leader of Peaky Blinders to keep himself safe. And keep in mind that this is what he did even before Officer Campbell made himself present as a threat. Before he talked with Alfie Solomons, he predicted that Alfie would try to threaten him to sign over his company. Then he devised a plan to avoid this outcome. Even in speech, Tommy is careful with what he says and will only speak in brief sentences. He pauses between sentences until he's certain of his thoughts. All of this seems more indicative of NI dominant. This does not mean that ENTJs can't create plans, but that level of carefulness makes more sense for INTJs. We see no clear indication of him being a TE dominant. He doesn't seem to enjoy giving orders and taking charge of situations, and he's very quiet and secretive with his thoughts and opinions. He does seek power, but most of the power he accumulates is in service of his family. For them, family is a weakness, and they go after them. For me, family is my strength. In regards to his family, he cares about Ada and wants the best for her. Because he doesn't like Freddie Thorne, he ignores Ada's feelings and tries to stop her from getting married with him. Ultimately, he agrees to letting them get married. When he hears John wanting to marry Liz, he tests Liz to see if she'd be a good wife for John, and then relays that information to John while ignoring his feelings. He searches for Polly's son because he knows how much she cares for her children, but ignores her desire to speak to him only after he turns 18 because it wouldn't be right. 
Most of the decisions he makes are in service of supporting and protecting his family. He just has trouble paying attention to their desires. Finally, INTJs can stay focused on tasks for as long as the plan requires it. Like how Tommy realized that Arthur was not the leader his family needed, so he took charge instead. Or how Tommy operated independently if there was sensitive information and he wanted to be sure that the job was done properly. Just a fun fact to end. The actor who played this character, Cillian Murphy, is also an INTJ. It's quite possible that in every character, there will always be a hint of that actor's personality. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel.